Hello guys, welcome to the PSP Challenge Plus and today is day one. I will guide you how to prepare and set up your working environment to work with your PSP on a real PC. Okay, so firstly you have to prepare the, the tune. In this tutorial I will be using the app shop, either server tune and another one is a sublime tech, either tune for you to do the um, coding and edit edit the PSP code. Okay, so now let us start. This. I will open the browser and access to the website to download the, the tune from the internet. Okay, your store access to the appsurf.org website and here go to the download tab. So the current version of AppShop is 8.6.0 and it will be support for Windows 7, 8.1 and Windows 10 here. So after you install this tune, it will be support for PSP and MySQL Server on the Windows PC. Okay, click on download button here to get a file. It will direct you to another website to download it. So here we should wait some seconds or even some minutes to get a file from the internet. Okay. So click on this one to install the web software on the Windows PC. Yes. Like, I agree. Here. So here you can select the destination folder to install the software on the Windows PC and I will leave it by default for now. Click on next button. Leave it by default. Next. Click on OK button to download the necessary software. Yes. This is a Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable. OK. Version 20. Uh, 2015. Okay, close it. Successfully set up. Yeah. So here, server name, I will be leave it by default with local hot and enter the email. The port here, I will be using another port because the ST port I, I, I was using for another software on this PC. Hit zero, edit. Okay. Next. I will be enter the password for root account for my sequence server. Yes. Next, install. Click on finish button to start the service for Apache and MySQL server on this PC. Okay, cool. So now I will open the browser and try to access the local host here and type in the body 8088 here. So this is the default page of the, 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 the AppServe server after it is installed successfully on this PC. And here it will be support for some something Apache PHP, MySQL Server and click on the My PHP Admin and tie in the username rules and the provider password, password as well. Go. Here. So here, this is a dashboard of PHP My Admin. So here you are able to create new database by, by clicking on the new button here. And of course, I will be, I will be talking about the My PHP my admin in another video later on. Okay. Cool. So we have not finished installing the AppServe server tune on the PC. And here next, I will guide you how to install Sublime Tech on, on this PC for editing the, the PHP code. 
you go to the browser and type in Sublime Tech 3 is the current version of the software and go to the Sublime Tech website and download the necessary version for the PC and here I'm using the Windows 64 bit so I will get the, 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 the file for this PC and here to save the time I already downloaded this to my PC and I click on the 60 bit version to install it on, on my PC follow the default step finish ok and here if you, if you have a, if you have the key so you can follow this uh, this video follow me to to do the active and by default if you don't have the key you can uh, you can you you can use for some eva evaluation okay okay F and now I will open the folder with contain the software key folder and 60 or 64 bits version you copy the key to the to the install install software on your Windows PC to get active the license Restart the software. Yes. Okay. So here the software, so software has been active, and it have the unlimited user action. Okay. Cool. Here. Okay. So I think that's all for today. And after you finish this uh, video, you know how to prepare the working environment to work with the PSP on the Windows PC. And basically, we just need to install the AppSurf and the Sublime Tech as the server and the tool to edit the PHP code. Okay, I hope this video will be helpful for you and thank you for watching. Bye bye and see you later.